you ever clicked on a video that says something like, 99% of people don't know this trick, and it's something even you know, and I mean, you're a cool guy and all, but maybe not an expert on what you clicked on. Well, welcome to the Torque Test channel, because today we found out some pretty interesting info that even Milwaukee, when asked, said, yeah, we don't know about that. Today we look at how anvil size, and specifically 3 8 versus half inch, affects torque output on impact wrenches. When we've been asked to do this in the past, we've sort of decided to break it down into two different questions on the subject. Does anvil size alone represent a power difference, or assumedly a powered loss in the case of 3 8 And two, do brands make 3 8 inch drive tools different power to half inch drive tools that look otherwise the same? Is this because they already know some scientific reason 3 8 drive makes less? Are they hamstringing 3 8 drive tools on purpose? And if so, for what reason? Are 3 8 drive impact sockets not up to the task? Are they worried about 3 8 drive anvils breaking? We plan to answer most of that today. Step one with anvil alone. If you've ever wanted to see what a $200 a piece socket looks like, feast your eyes on these custom 3 8 drive impact sockets we had forged, broached, machined, and hardened to match the large hex size of our torque dyno. In a past video, we experienced very little change in torque applied to a large hex size bolt like the sockets we use on our dyno, implying socket size was not a big factor in this size range. Contrary to those findings though, we also saw in For Science Episode 6 that among smaller bolts and smaller sockets, Socket mass can play a part in delivering torque, and especially on fancy weighted sockets. We'll be using these custom 3 8 drive impact sockets to swap out the half-inch anvil on this 1822, our number one ranked mini impact for now, for a 3 8 anvil that we picked up. This exact tool laid down 208, 354, and 383 foot-pounds in its three tests in its original half-inch anvil orientation, so we're swapping in that 3 8 to see what's what. If you do own air tools, most jobs that involve swapping in the any part of the hammer cage like this one should not really scare you away. Don't send it off to be repaired. This sort of task is easy to do even for a home gamer, especially on an anvil which sort of just clocks into position here, then you're ready to go. Okay, with that new 3 8 anvil in, let's see how these power runs look on the same test that we did with the same line pressure. Here's working torque 5 seconds in forward. Wow, even look at the shape of those curves. Pretty similar stuff, but we're just one test in. Let's see reverse. Three hundred and fifty four down from three hundred and forty eight. That eighteen twenty two's original three max runs saw as low as 347 in its test, so still looking pretty spot on. Here's his best case scenario 15 second test. Three foot pounds difference across 15 seconds and at higher line pressure this time. It's almost like these are the same tool. All right, we can understand it seems silly at this point, right? They're the same. But let's be honest, this info was not exactly out there for people to access. We feel as long as your 3 8 socket has similar mass to a half inch one you'd be using on smaller bolts, you're likely seeing or you should be getting equal power from a 3 8 drive impact as a half inch. That is, of course, if the brand is not doing some funny business behind the scenes inside the tool that somehow makes a 3 8 version worse? It seems like almost every brand does it, some to a significant degree like this one with a large difference between 3 8 and half inch, and some like Milwaukee with no difference on a few models like the right angle M12 impact, and some with a difference but a small one like the M18 Gen 2 mid torque which shows 50 foot pounds difference in nut busting but nothing for fastening. Well let's see, we bought the 2960-20 ourselves to find out. You'll notice it's rocking some fancy protection courtesy of Jersey Discount Tool, who we bought this from. No sponsorship here, we did pay for this. Just want to give a big shout out to JDT Co for being a great tool dealer and entertaining YouTube channel too. 
check them out. Their battery bootstrap, as we like to call it, holds all those M18 jiggly bits in a bunch for you impact fans, so the tool doesn't bring a early demise to that battery. But we'll be going au natural today, just so you don't think we're hiding something under the hood. This is a bone stock 2960 3.8 version of the half inch mid torque we also tested brand new out of the box. If you have the 3.8 impact sockets to support it, the 3.8 version of this tool will afford you one quarter, maybe half inch extra space in many cases due to 3.8 sockets being overall shorter. But are you suffering from that advertised 50 foot pounds loss Milwaukee advertises? Let's jump into it already. Up first is our working torque test. Here's how the half inch gun did. Now here's the new 3 8 to take on that new half inches run. Three hundred and sixty. We honestly went into this test expecting less, but we're seeing more. But just sort of coming out at the end there, since we can't exactly turn their air pressure up in a best case scenario test on cordless. As you might imagine, these tools' ten second max torque runs are very similar to their fifteen second runs. So we're going to jump into that. Here's our fifteen second test, which is also in reverse, which both of these tools preferred. Here's the three eighths in white again, taking on the half inch in red on screen. Four hundred and seventy-nine. Same sort of relationship too. Taking some time to pass it up on that early higher dynamic torque that the half inch is seeing, but surpassing it to ultimately generate more peak torque. And it turns out we're not the only ones who have come across some impressive performance from Milwaukee Three Eights Impacts. You should check out these channels if you haven't already. They saw some interesting stuff too. Okay, this is an oddball here. E either we have a super powerful. 3 8 drive impact, um, or we have a down on power half inch drive impact. So I'm curious now, if I go to my 3 8 drive, if I can take off these last two fasteners. Okay, interesting, I don't know. Um, again, we're still way beyond the capabilities of what these are supposed to do, but the 3 8 drive is obviously outputting more than the half inch. Who knows, is the argument that the adapter is adding power? I doubt that highly. Has been broken free before and retorqued. We're gonna try probably to uh, futility and uh, remove it with 3 8 Of course, there's no 3 8 inch drive, 32 millimeter socket. So we are gonna have to use an adapter and we are gonna severely limit our torque. So again, this is just to see if it's even possible I very much doubt it will remove it, but let's just see what happens. And lo and behold, it uh, took it off of there, quite surprised. Now these were thought to be isolated events, anomalies, but as far as we know, we're the first to try and isolate these differences and measure them. We honestly feel that no one knew for sure until we did, and now you. Heck, even Milwaukee, who we reached out to to confirm, they were surprised as we were, but we tested and retested to be sure and, and only got this data back again and again over a dozen tests deep. So maybe this is a phenomenon specific to cordless impacts and drive size in this particular socket we're using. In order to hopefully control for that, we purchased a 3 8 Hercules that's supposed to be a good bit down in power on the half wrench to do the same test. Both tools weighed nearly identical to us, so we figured it really shouldn't be that far off, right? And as it turns out, as you're seeing, nearly identical performance again, despite the drive size and socket difference. Which is good to learn as well that 3 8 Hercules costs 10% less and it's the same beans. Pick up that one instead. So we decided to stop throwing money at this quandary and just accept what others have sometimes seen and what matches what we're measuring. We theorize that on bolts that are stuck due to corrosion or stripping, a half inch Milwaukee gun would see some advantage with that bit more dynamic torque down low. But on non-buggered bolts that are just really tight, like Mr. Subaru and Shop Tool Reviews saw, ultimately a 3 8 from Milwaukee will loosen something tighter than the half inch, like Tim experienced here. 
Okay, at first glance, something interesting is showing up. It looks like that the half inch is tightening a little less than the 3 8 drive, which doesn't make any sense, but this is what it looks like with our number. But ultimately, the performance overall might be unchanged, which we back up with even more data. Here's both tools runs across a BCS test. One data point spit out from the gauge every second. Check out the average torque at the end there. Exactly 378 for both. We couldn't have matched them up better if we tried. Not saying our equipment is always this finite, but we'll take it. And hey, we have some new scores to tally on our rank list. The 3.8s hit higher numbers, right? That brings it closer to its unchanged 550 tightening torque claim. Let's see if that shakes things up on the rank list. Starting by its half-inch brother for now, we redid all of its power runs. Those points are here, 36, 41, and 48. Same 6-inch length, new 479 BCS run. That totals 79.8 foot-pounds per inch and makes for 87% of that unchanged 550 claim as well. Still $219, but made a few more beans, 32.8 points as a function of value. That totals 324.6. Bumping up the Gen 2 now above the Ryobi One Plus for second place, where honestly, I feel it more belongs anyways, but that's just my opinion. The half inch gets dropped off our list as to not penalize or bump down all the others on the rank list every time we add a 3 8 And a note here on the half inch score too. So two new takeaways we learned today. One, brands rate 3 8 impacts lower for no real reason, if all else is the same. Look at the Nano we swapped an anvil into ourselves and the Hercules that we bought that way. If you're considering between a 3 8 and a half inch, we say pick up that 3 8 and some sort of 3 8 socket set. Nothing really left on the table power wise. And for number two on what we learned, for whatever reason, Milwaukee 3 8 impacts might perform better for you than half inch versions, or at least as well as, but certainly not less than. Not sure if it's what's inside that impact mechanism, the anvil wing mass, or how they tune their ball and cam mechanism altogether, RPM or what, but Milwaukee 3.8s are a bean powerhouse that should not go overlooked because of old school 3.8s drive perceptions on being lower in power and brand power numbers, which if we learn anything on this channel are not the whole story most of the time. We appreciate you guys recommending this one in the comments. We were often proved horribly wrong when our assumptions are brought before and subsequently laughed at by the dyno, so keep those recommendations coming. Subscribe to enjoy those, as I'm sure we will, and thank you for watching.